type 1 and type 2 errors. Now in hypothesis testing, we're coming to a conclusion about a population parameter, such as the population mean, using a sample. Now samples are selected randomly, so it's possible that just by random chance we come to the wrong conclusion. So we'll be making an error in our hypothesis test. Now the easiest way to understand type 1 and type 2 errors is to create a table. Uh, in our table, on one side we have the possible conclusions, which are to accept the null or to reject the null. There's two different conditions for the population. Either the null hypothesis is true or the alternative hypothesis is true. So this is what our table looks like. Now, if we accept the null when the null hypothesis is true, that means that we've come to the correct conclusion. However, if we reject the null when the null is true, that means that we've made an error. We call this a type 1 error. If we reject the null when the alternative is true, this is correct. We've made the correct conclusion. However, if we accept the null when the alternative is true, this is going to be another error. We call this a type 2 error. So a type 1 error is rejecting the null when the null is true, and a type 2 error is accepting the null when the alternative is true. Now let's take a look at an example. Suppose that last year the average TikTok video was 30 seconds long, and we want to conduct a hypothesis test to determine whether the average length of TikTok videos has increased. So our alternative hypothesis is that mu is greater than 30 and our null hypothesis is that mu is less than or equal to 30. This is an upper tail test. Now let's take a look at what a type 1 and type 2 error are in this example. Well, a type 1 error is rejecting the null when the null is true. If we reject the null in this example, that means we conclude that the population mean is greater than 30. And the null hypothesis being true means that the population mean is less than or equal to 30. So we would be concluding that the average length has increased, 
which means that mu is greater than 30 when actually it has not increased. which means that mu is less than or equal to 30. That would be a type 1 error in this example. Now a type 2 error is when you accept the null when the alternative is true. So accepting the null in this example would mean that you conclude that the population mean is less than or equal to 30, and the alternative being true means that the population mean is actually greater than 30. So you'd be concluding that the average length of TikTok videos has not increased, which is mu less than or equal to 30, when in fact it has increased, which is mu greater than 30. Now, when we're doing hypothesis testing, usually we choose something called a level of significance. And we write our level of significance alpha, and it's the probability of making a type 1 error. Now, usually alpha is set to 0.01 or 0.05. So in hypothesis testing, usually we're choosing a probability that we're allowing for making a type 1 error, that is, rejecting the null when the null is true. But we're not doing this for a type 2 error. We're not choosing a probability for accepting the null when the alternative is true. So because we're not controlling the probability of a type 2 error, we do not say accept the null uh, when we're doing hypothesis testing. So we either say reject the null or do not reject the null. Um, and the reason for this is because when we choose a level of significance alpha, uh, say of 0.05, um, so that's the probability of making a type 1 error. So that means that there's a 5% chance of making a type 1 error, which means that when we say we reject the null or do not reject the null, we're 95% confident about this conclusion. Um, now, since we're not controlling the probability of making a type 2 error, we don't know how confident we are about saying that we're accepting the null. Uh, which is why we do not say accept the null. We only say reject or do not reject the null. Okay. So that terminology there is because of the level of significance, because level of significance is the probability of type 1 error and not the probability of type 2 error.